I have a one here which I will quickly isolate from the background using my quick selection tool. This is a very quick way just for this tutorial. So let's begin. Click and select the areas you want. Then you can stop if you want. Right bracket to reduce the brush size. And as you can see, this is a really quick background isolation tool. And here, now I have my mask and I will create a layer mask. I will add a new layer and fill it with white color. Alt backspace because it's the foreground color, and I will desaturate it, desaturate my man. So I click on the layer and press Command U, and desaturate him. Okay. Now I will create a new layer. I'll put my man here, and I'll press Command and click on the layer mask to add a layer mask on my group. Now, let's go to another photograph. I will take this photograph and by pressing command I have my drag tool, move tool, sorry, and by pressing command I'll throw it in here. Now I'll go, I'll take my man on top and select lighten. As you can see I already have a double exposure here. Now I will take my factory layer, press command T and move it around to see what I like. I'll also reduce its size a little bit and see where I like it. Perhaps I can reduce a little bit more. As you can see, some areas of the man image uh, are masked, and I can see the second image below. Let's say I like it here. I press Command U to desaturate a little bit this image as well, but not completely. Okay. Now. I will bring my last image here and move it out of my layer group. I'll press Command T to schedule it down a little bit. And let's say I want it somewhere here. Now, let's desaturate this also, Command U, and press Command M to open curves, because I want a little bit more contrast in the image. But now my background doesn't flatter my original image, so I will create a new layer, pick up my airbrush, and add a little white from the back of my man. And I think that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.